update to that local breaking news after a shootout at Himrico's West End. This scene shut down West Broad Street in both directions for hours, finally reopening within the last 45 minutes. On your side at 6, we have live team coverage for you. And we're going to get straight to Himrico reporter Krina Balser to get us up to speed on this. Krina? Well, Makia and Simone, in the last five minutes, Henrico police have announced new information related to this officer-involved shooting. What we're told is this all began with an attempted robbery right here on Silver Stream Lane. We are told three individuals were involved in this attempted robbery. It's still the same. Two people were seen shooting at one another. A third person fled the scene, and that's what officers who were in the area on an unrelated investigation saw what was unfolding, jumped into action, and started to try and mitigate the situation. But one officer ended up firing his weapon. We are told one man was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. However, the good news here, all three individuals involved in that initial exchange of gunfire are in custody at this point so there is no threat to the public at this hour they are not seeking anyone else in connection to this attempted robbery but as you see right behind me it is still a very active scene out here in this apartment complex off copper mill lane and so that intersects with west broad street over here to my right again officers expected to be on scene for several hours since this is an officer involved shooting and once we learn more information about what else may have unfolded out here, we'll be sure to let you know. Live and on your side in Hemrico, Karina Bolster, NBC 12 News. All right, Karina, thank you. The other big story connected to all of this was that West Broad Street was shut down for a pretty long time. That's right, our AJ DeWoco dealt with those closures himself, trying to get to the scene, and he joins us now with that part of our team coverage. AJ, how are things shaping up out there now? Mickey, I'll tell you what, uh, Broad Street has now officially been opened back up. It's been open for the last hour now. That large police presence that we were seeing earlier has gone, but again, police are still, about a handful of police are still at the scene of that investigation, continuing to wrap up. Now, during the height of that investigation, police did not ask businesses to shut down. However, some did. Now they're seeing a return of some of their customers. Other business owners that I spoke with tell me that police asked them for anything that they could offer to help in this investigation. Yeah, we had a couple of them ask us if we had any surveillance cameras here. Um, so we're helping out in any way we can. A couple of officers with, with rifles and, and a couple of uh, you know, Army people running in through the woods. And, and uh, I haven't seen them come out yet. But uh, yeah, like I said, um, it, it's, just been, it's just been crazy here. I have no idea you know, what's going on. And, now again, Broad Street is completely open to the public. It's a far cry from what it was just hours ago when it was at a complete standstill. Right now, police are also still again investigating uh, this uh, robbery, this attempted robbery. Now, I'll be sure to give you a full report later tonight at 11. But for now, live and on your side in Henrico, AJ Nwoko, NBC 12. All right.